Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. This is a video that Laura's been telling me to do for a while. I'm finally getting into it. And that's our studio tour, which is really just our home office. Excited to show you our rig. Excited to show you our setup. Let's get started. This is actually one of the coolest things. This is my grandpa's jewelry desk. This is where he did all the work from it, was at this desk. Um, I've got an old, look at that, that's from the old Mac right there. You know, the GTX 680 graphics card. I actually tore that apart because I want to make a case for the computer that I'm going to show you. But this is all the original stuff. And if you look in the drawers, you know, got some original tools that he used when he was doing jewelry in his business. So maybe I'll do a video on that if people are interested in seeing more about what that is. If you're thinking of doing a YouTube studio at your house, you can definitely do it with very little room. Um, this is the smallest room in our house, but it does you know, have sufficient space for what we've got as a setup here. And, you know, obviously I've got the one light over here. I've got, this is backlight and I have no idea what to do with that as far as a pattern goes. I just really wanted some type of backlighting. I didn't want to hang another light. And just to give you an idea, most of the time we're doing a Zoom conference call. So that's in between Laura and I, but I have really no idea what to do with it. I mean, when I'm sitting right up against it, it's like, do you have a Triforce behind you? I don't know, right? That, that's what it could be. Obviously I have this beautiful 49 inch Samsung monitor. I actually picked this up for just a few hundred bucks on a KSL. Let's do a breakdown of what you guys are probably most interested in, and that's the computer setup that I've got in here. I've got the MacBook Pro, um, but when you're doing 3D, even with the 5600M graphics card, but it's not quite cutting it for what I need to do. I bought a whole pre-made setup for my buy power, and I know that there's gonna be some comments about you know pre-built setups. I've got a GeForce RTX 3090, graphics card in it, 24 gigabytes of RAM. It's the top of the line graphics card. And the reason that I, I got it, the whole setup is if you look on KSL, which I'll show you right here. If you look at the prices that people are selling it for, it's a whole lot more money than what it costs to get an entire complete setup. I've actually been running NiceHash on this computer when I'm not using it, and it's made a few hundred dollars already, you know, and I haven't had the system too long. It's got an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X processor. Uh, that's a 12 core, 3.8 gigahertz processor. And then the memory is uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and it's DDR4, 3200 megahertz, G-Skill, Ripjaw. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I'm gonna show you some benchmarks. I don't have Cyberpunk, so I can't really show you the top tier but I'll show you some uh, Call of Duty on a 49 inch monitor, what frame rates I'm getting, you know, sort of just a, a few game plays and it's obviously smooth. It can handle anything that I throw at it. Even uh, for a 3D project, I threw a pretty heavy, intense 3D project at it or so. It's been a fantastic system. I've got uh, Call of Duty going on right now and we're in the menu. Let me just show you some of the settings I've got right now and grab my controller here. Um, so if we go to the graphics, 120 Hertz, 5120 by 1440, which is the max this 49 inch monitor can go to. And uh, everything should be set to high. This always changes itself. Don't know why that changes itself, but we'll set that to high as well. I think I have a 90% draw on the graphics memory because that doesn't really affect the 3090 at all. So let's see how it does. Obviously, you know, you got the GPU at 74 degrees right now. Typically when I'm mining Bitcoin, it runs around 66 degrees. I don't know if that's because of optimization, but you'll see that it typically runs at 76-ish degrees um, when playing Call of Duty on this. And uh, the graphics are beautiful. When you're playing it on here, it's pretty awesome. No hiccups, no lag. You know, obviously I could stress test it better with uh, cyberpunk um, but you know don't have that game maybe I should pick it up just so I can show you guys and uh, yeah so I like sniping we'll see how good I actually do it's been a bit since I've played so we'll, we'll see if I do any any good things on here oh my gosh I, I just realized when I'm gaming I don't know how to speak so you know forgive me if uh, I speak poorly during this. I don't know how I got that guy. He was like glitching all over the place.
yeah, as you can see, I stay pretty consistently at like 80 frames. Um, on Nuketown, it's a little bit more of a draw on the system. And so that's not uncommon for that to happen. But, you know, let's see if this guy's still camping there. Oh, no, he was gone. Hopefully this comes up widescreen. I don't know how this will actually screen capture so that you guys can see all the information on it. Oh, 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 oh dang it. If I didn't get stunned on that one, that could have been pretty good. Yeah, so still at about 78 degrees right now. Um, pretty far into the game right now. So I don't know which is the best stress test or which map pulls the most. Like I said, if you look at the VRAM, actually it's a, it, a full 20 gigs, you know, it's 24 gigs for this. And then I've got 32 gigs of actual memory. So as far as what it pulls on, I'm not quite sure how that translates out, but it does really, really well. So on the Mac um, with the 5600M, I couldn't even really game on this 49 inch monitor. If I pulled up Windows, it wouldn't work. So it, having this is a night and day difference. I used to put it on like the lowest settings, um, but that didn't work. I actually had to like set it to almost like the highest settings for it to work at all with the Mac. Um, I don't know why that's the case, but it, it was pretty weird. You can tell I haven't played this in a long time. I'm, I'm playing pretty poorly, but hopefully it's it's giving you guys an idea of how this graphics card can perform. I'm sure people are watching this right now going, oh my gosh, why does he have a 3090? But remember, when you're doing 3D, um, you, you need all the horsepower you can get, processor and graphics card alike. I'm very self-conscious about my 3D projects though, so you probably won't see me post too many of them on there unless I really, really like it. I'm pretty hypercritical of it. So yeah, coming to the end of the game, um, you know, running even on the cinematic, this is usually where it taxes it the most for whatever reason, you know, still running 80 frames a second. Hopefully this helps you, you know, get a good idea of what you can do with this. I just went ahead and bought Cyberpunk 2077 because I figured, you know, if I'm going to mention it, I might as well get the game and so we're going to get into the the settings that i have right now and let's see what this uh graphics card can actually do right um let's do a quick preset actually uh let's do just ray tracing ultra right that's i'm guessing going to be the highest set one um correct me if i'm wrong but i i believe that's what it is my guess is going to get about 30 some odd frames a second maybe um yep right there so 40 41 46 so definitely not like what you want to game at but i mean when you're 4k on a super wide monitor um i don't really expect to get you know 120 or whatever especially uh with how new this game is and how intense it is so still running at about 40 frames a second not really what you would want to see out of this is pretty choppy on my end i'll just say that so yeah, if any of you have a 3090 out there, let me know what your experience has been with it. Obviously, I don't have overclocking on either the processor or the graphics card. So um, let's see how this ends up doing as far as that goes. I'm just basically running it stock if you guys were to buy this same setup and then what it looks like right out of it. It's interesting for how taxing the game is. I mean, it, it is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but for a game like this, I, I expected it to be a little bit smoother. Maybe I need to, you know, check the anti-aliasing and see. So in this scene, we'll get a little bit more dynamics. I need to get to the city area to really show it off, but still hovering around 46 frames a second. It's interesting when you're watching film, 24 frames a second is what you're watching it at, but you know, as far as it goes as far as um, playing game 60 is better. Holy cow, I I'm, like definitely am not somebody who can talk and play at the same time. All right, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is sad. I guess I'll just go for shooting the car because you know, shooting the actual driver is something else. Wow. Hopefully you guys are better at this than me if you play this game. Whoa, geez, okay, come on. There we go. I think that one would have happened anyway, though, to be honest. I feel like this is just for cinematic value right now, but we'll, we'll see. So still 42 frames. 
um what does it say on the gpu 78 degrees okay so not terrible 88 percent draw i don't want to do too long on this i just basically want to give you a good idea of what we're looking at here as far as settings go and uh, the 3090 is the best graphics card so it's crazy to have a game that can't run and get you know 100 frames a second on a video game so i'm guessing this will be the new crisis where it benchmarks for a while on the system um let's change the settings up a little bit i just want to see how much it jumps the the settings up okay i'm just gonna do straight ultra resume i feel like that didn't even change at all it's weird it showing that it changed or default yeah let's re restore defaults defaults are it definitely wants me to go defaults oh that's up to 16 high i'm really confused at this though because uh let's let's do medium let's so that jumped the frame rate up a, like a little bit, but still only 60 frames. Holy cow. It's weird when you only get a minimal jump on what this is as far as the <clears throat> graphics go, because, you know, I'm bumping down the settings, but it really doesn't incentivize that. So, you know what? Going back up to this, I just don't know what will get it to run a little bit better when it's on this. Usually, oh, okay, let's, let's do ultra performance on that. That should change it. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking. Now this is 70 frames a second. This is actually a really good setting. I don't know why I had it on auto because it tends to not do as well on auto. This is already running a ton smoother though, just by turning that on. And it's a better quality. It's not... It's kind of, it was kind of artifacting a lot more than it is right now. This is actually looking a lot better. Okay. Also, I don't know what to do here. Okay, here we go. In the city is going to be a good test. So right now I have ultra on everything too. So DLSS. This is weird. This whole montage thing going on. What's going on? Now 80 frames a second during this cinematic type sequence. Let's get into the good stuff. All right, so movement time. Let's see if it can keep it at a solid. Now I'm starting to lag a little bit, or at least it feels like it for me. The frame rate seems like it's not doing too bad. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corporal Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repos. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. It's like jittery for some reason. so funny like running in and punching people when they're shooting at me you know it's like funny when games are this way but i guess if you hyper realism this isn't the game but yeah like, taking a lot of shots guess it's 
it's on both ends. Around 50 frames a second. Well, let's fall off. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think that's good for the video. If you like this, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully this gave you an idea, you know. It, I'm very impressed that the game pushes it to the max this much, you know. Doing a lot of heavy load stuff on the 3090 uh, isn't too taxing, but this seems like it It really does affect it a lot, having a 49-inch monitor. It'd be interesting to see what, if I had a smaller monitor, what that would do to it. But if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, I would highly suggest that if you're looking to get a graphics card, just go find a pre-built setup and by that it's a better value uh, than trying to get the graphics card right now because of, you know, the hiked up prices and the scalpers. But uh, we'll see you in the next video.